Jackson, these are so much better than the first time that you sent me photos. Really good job. You like really got so much more of the body this time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my job and give you my critique. I think that the feet look fine. I know they didn't want them touched, but I mean, it looks like you did a good job on that. Um, so really good job. Just a little bit more back brushing right here. Back brush up with your brush up and even down here, up and even down, up and even now. Um, on here, these areas, you know how they have these folds? You can stretch that up with your hand. That way the four will go through there and not get stuck and give you that line, okay? Alrighty, let me go through the other picture. This is number one, right here, oh, right here. Back brush and take down all of this. You could probably do, Usually the rule of thumb is you take the clipper down the dog one time, then you back brush the whole body and you take it down again. And then after you do that, then you only target special areas where you see that the hair is a little bit longer. So you wanna take the clipper down their body at least twice. Um, so all of these right here and this and this, you could do one more time. Um, next picture. I already had them down here. All right, much cleaner, yeah. Um, one more time here. You could probably do the sanitary one more time. Uh, the inside of the legs, that's the only thing I notice. You have to lift one up and then go on the inside of this with your clipper. That way you come from this side and then you lift one leg. And normally they can't lift the other one because this one's up. And then you go from the inside, you lower your body so you can see like your head and you grab your clippers and from the inside of this leg, because this one's up, you go in and you can shave the inside. Or as you move it up, you can come in this way again from the other side. Um, let me see. Um, if you have another groomer in your salon, watch them do the inside of the legs and like the legs and how their methods, okay? So the inside of these legs can be shorter. Um, they have to be a, um, the same length as the four because it's a four all over. All right. And next one. Oh, that's the next one. Nope, that's it again. All right, here. Same thing. Just back brush one more time and run this clipper over. You see the dog right here? This neckline. You can take this with your four. You don't need all that. Honestly, with the neckline, I usually try to keep the hair right around, like along this line, like the chin. But if you were to just move the head slightly higher, you see all of this hair down here that's left over. You can back brush that and take it down with the four as well. That way you don't have all this extra long hair around here. And I know he might have extra skin here and there, but that way you get a better head. Um, Back brush, back brushed. Let's see what's next. Okay, so yeah, you see what I mean right here. You can take that much shorter. Again, in here, it basically, it's all just back brushing. The four is hard to blend, don't get me wrong. Um, but just running it one more time through there with a lighter touch. Good job on the lighter touch, I read that as well. Um, and then we're getting nice and brown face. I see that, good job. Just clean it up a little bit more down here. And then you can move all this forward, like what's falling in front of the eyes and just thin it out a little bit, okay? All right, that's my critique. I'll go ahead and send this to you.